<clears throat> Section 2.5 concerns dividing integers. Um, it's the same exact rules as what the multiplication is. If the signs are the same, one's negative and the other one's negative, or one's positive and the other one's positive, the answer is positive. If the signs are different, then the answer is going to be negative. So like if you have negative 12 divided by 4, the signs are different, so the answer is going to be negative, and you know that 12 divided by 4 is 3. If you have negative 16 divided by negative 4, you know that the signs are the same, they're both negative, so you're going to divide, and the answer is going to be positive. So if the signs are the same, the answer is positive. If the signs are different, the answer is negative. 28 divided by 7, you know, is equal to 4. The signs are the same, so the answer is positive. 54 divided by uh, 3 is going to give you a 18, but the answer is going to be negative because the signs are different. <clears throat> the division problem can also be written up and down. It doesn't have to be written to the side. This is saying 48 divided by negative 6. The signs are different, so the answer is negative, and it's going to give you a negative 8. On this one, you have negative 42 divided by negative 7. The signs are the same, so the answer is going to be positive. Um, the only other thing that you see in this particular section um, is evaluating algebraic equations, which of course is substituting back in the numbers for the letters. So I have AB divided by negative 4. A is equal to negative 6. B is equal to negative 8. So I put those into the equation. Negative 6 times a negative 8 divided by a negative 4. Well, everything in the equation is multiplication or division. So you know you're going to do the performance from left to right. So negative 6 times a negative 8 is going to give you a positive 48 because the signs are the same, divided by a negative 4. Now the two things you have are different with signs, so you know the final answer is negative. So 48 divided by negative 4 is a negative 12. Here's another one like that. You've got 6x divided by y. 6 is equal to, or 6 times negative 4, so you've got, go 6 times negative 4 divided by a negative 8. So you have, this is going to give you 6 times negative 4, which is a negative 24, divided by a negative 8. The signs are the same, they're both negative, so the answer is going to give you a positive 3. Um, we need to take an opportunity right now just to review some of the other mathematical operations with integers because some of your homework is just going to be a review of that information. Um, so I have a net, this is addition. If the signs are the same, you add and use their sign. The signs are the same here, so I add. It's going to give me a 13, and I use their sign, which is negative. This one, the signs are the same. They're both positive, so I add and use their sign, but of course, I don't need to put a positive in there. If I don't put any sign in there, it's understood that it's positive. Um, if the signs are different, you're going to subtract the smaller number from the larger number, not paying any attention to whether they're negative or positive, and use the sign of the larger number. So here, the signs are different, so I'm going to subtract 10 from the 15, which is going to give me a 5, the sign of the larger number is negative, so the answer is negative 5. Here you have 10 minus 7, so that's going to give me a 3. The larger number is positive, so it's going to be a positive 3. On subtraction, you just have to remember one rule, and it's you add the opposite of the second number, and then you go back and use the addition rules. So I'm going to add the opposite of the second number. So it becomes negative 5 plus a positive 4. The signs are different, so I subtract and use the sign of the larger number. 5 minus 4 is 1. The larger number is negative. 
Here I have 10 minus 15, so I'm going to add the opposite of the second number. Now the signs are different. I subtract 15 minus 10, which gives me 5. The larger number is negative, so it's negative 5. Negative 6 minus 2, I add the opposite of the second number. The signs are now the same, so I'm going to add and use their sign. 9 minus a negative 7, I add the opposite of the second number, so it becomes 9 plus 7, which is 16, and they're both positive, so it's positive 16. Multiplication and division, same rules for both. If the signs are the same, the answer is positive. If the signs are different, the answer is negative. You're multiplying here because you have that in parentheses. You know that's not subtraction. That's just multiplication. The signs are the same, so the answer is positive. So that's going to give me a positive 30. On this one, the signs are the same, or the signs are different, excuse me. So I'm going to divide. That's going to give me a 5, but the answer is going to be a negative 5 because the signs are different. All right, your homework for this section is page 83, 12 through 30 even. That is all about division. But then this is found in the back of your book, page 726 through 727. There's different sections. I want you to do section 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, and 2, 5. This is addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And I want you to do multiples of 5, which means if it ends in 5 or 0, you're going to do it. So you're going to do like 5, 10, 15, 20, uh, it should not be a whole lot of problems, but it gives you some practice on the different uh, forms of math that you do on integers.